If you guys have seen me stream, I stream on YouTube occasionally here on the channel. I told you guys um, that this is the, my pound, opinion, pound for pound, most versatile, effective play in the game. And it is the gun tight slots halfback weak formation in the Bengals playbook. We're taking a look at the play four verticals. Now, if you want to get my entire tight slots halfback weak offensive ebook, the link is going to be down in the description below for just $10. You'll be able to get access to everything in the Patreon, including um, all my ebooks, all my updates, everything for just 10 bucks. So what we're going to do here, um, there's a lot of different setups I can show you out of four verticals, but my favorite is this one right here. Uh, I'm going to streak the left side receiver. I'm going to drag the slot, and then I'm going to wheel the running back. If they play you in man coverage, uh, we know hopefully by now that in Madden 24, if they play you in man coverage and it's a linebacker matched up on the running back, which it normally is going to kind of have to be with the way this formation lines up, you are going to hit that four touchdown every, every single time. They're not going to be able to stop you. Um, the running back is going to be wide open, and this is why we like to wheel the running back instead of the slot receiver. So what you'll see is he just destroys man. I mean, he just destroys man, okay? So we have that route to the running back. Now, another thing that a lot of people like to do is they love to run cover zero blitzes and maybe press cover. If they do that, we're going to have one of two things. The first thing is they're not going to run. They're not going to cover the running back quick because and now the safety is actually manned up to the running back. So they'll be able uh, to stop the wheel route, but they won't be able to stop the quick throw to the running back. But another thing that's really interesting is just what the way tight slots is. These um, you you basically will have a touchdown to both your slot receivers. So you see there, um, these streaks, they just get off the ball, especially with the wheel routes. They just kind of create these bumps. Um, and your opponent's going to struggle to recover from the, from that. Okay? So please leverage the fact that you have these streaks. And then let's say they're in a, a basic, like they have some safety help over top, like a cover one or cover two man. That's where we want to really look to this drag. Uh, this drag is super effective because you see how that tight end acts as almost like a lead blocker. And the rack catch animations in Madden 24 are such that it just makes this drag absolutely insane. It is such a good play. Uh, I'll show you a cover two man here. So if we run uh, cover two man, what you'll see, watch the drag route. You'll see uh, rack catch, and I got about 15, 20 yards. Now, where this play gets kind of neat is what it can do for you against like the cover four meta or really any kind of zone coverage. So the streaks are going to run the deep zones back, and then the wheels are just going to have a field day. So first and foremost, the running back wheel, wide open for about a 15 to 20-yard dot over the top. They're going to have to have um, a cloud flat or you know maybe even run a cover three. To try to stop that, all right? So the cover three tries to stop that. You see here on the right side, see how it matches the tight end wheels? So that's one of the benefits of cover three curl flats is cover three curl flats and even match quarters uh, will do this as well is they're going to match the uh, wheel routes on both sides. The problem is the curl flat is also supposed to defend the flat, right? So look who's wide open late in the play, our drag route. And most people aren't going to use our drag. They are going to use our one of your seam streaks. So just keep that in mind. If they run hard flats on the outside on either side, we're going to get that same kind of behavior we got against cover four. When the running back wheels up field, it puts him in this little pocket that is very hard for them to be able to defend. And this is also uh, going to be a very good play to utilize against any kind of match coverage that they might run. Um, if they do want to run some match coverage on you, uh, this will absolutely destroy it. The other thing that you have here is... Again, I just can't stress enough, like, this wheel route is so good against me. Um, but the other thing you have on this play is you also have uh, some snap throw opportunities. So the snap throw opportunities that you have here depend on the coverage that your opponent's going to be playing. But a lot of times, let's say they're playing you in this, like, kind of double flat coverage with the user in the middle of the field. At the snap of the ball, uh, you can hit this streak to the circle receiver pretty quickly. The zones will spread out because of the tight end wheel and because of the running back wheel. So you can hit the seams on both sides. And please don't 
uh, please don't like miss that. That is a really, really big read. Um, and you can highball them. I probably wouldn't highball them unless you know kind of what you're doing with your pass leading. Uh, and the reason why is just because I think it can kind of be a little fluky. Uh, but really, we're just looking to hit this, uh, hit these wheels once they cut up field because the streaks clear out every zone in the game. Now, the last cover or the last thing I want to say about zone is cover two. So you'll see this year that they will actually, the clouds will actually convert to match coverage on the wheel route. So this is yet another reason why this play is really effective because the tight end is going to wheel up field and he's going to take um, defenders with him. And it's going to leave this drag as a nice little check down and you're going to be able to hit it for 10 to 15 to 20 yards. Now, if I take the three rack off the field, uh, the three rec is really the only thing that's keeping them, and that's their user, right? Well, who the, their user often is not going to guard a drag. Their user is going to guard these seam streaks. So that's where you can throw this and get about 15 to 20 yards every single time, and it's something super simple like a drag route, okay? Um, so I love this play. I think this is one of the most versatile plays in the entire game because of how good of a job it does at consistently – Killing man coverage, whether it be press man, off man, um, these streaks, I will say, like I've just noticed, they they can actually torch uh, off man. So keep that in mind. But you also have the running back wheel. Oh, one last coverage I didn't touch on that I did want to talk about, and that is cover to man. Uh, so if it's cover to man, this is really cool. You're going to notice, um, number one, the running back wheel is going to still fry because you have a clear out streak. That deep half won't guard him especially when we typically run this with our running back to the short side of the field. So that's one piece of the puzzle. And then the next thing that I want to show you is what this tight end route can do. So um, the tight end route, when he cuts up field, oftentimes he's going to get kind of a glitchy separation. He didn't get it right there, so we can try to highball it if we want. But the tight end, just if you look at it, it's a little bit more of a game uh, thing than a practice mode thing. But the tight end, uh, when he cuts up field, oftentimes he can get – kind of take the top off the defense. So you see here, right there, that's a good example. I'm able to pass lead that up, and we're able to get a big play on both sides so they can't key in on, on one side of the formation. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Tight Slots Halfback Week offensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon by clicking the link down below.